voice of God here, yeah. Isabella Moore. We've just wrapped. We've got to speak to the producer, the director, and one of the actors of The Collector here at Hope Street. Guys, keep an eye out for the video. They've got some beautiful insight on the play, and it's not to be missed. And don't forget that it's still going on tonight, so this still, is a live feed, right? It is, it is indeed. And so, so I get mean, some I the theater around right behind us We've and everything. The theater right behind us, guys. There it is. Mm. I'll be at the door, so if you want to come, you can pay on the door. It's £10, adult or £8 concession. Get down here. Get down here! <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Isabella Moore, and this is Catherine McGurk. We are here at Hope Street Theatre. Catherine is one of the stars of The Collector at the moment. It's been running all week. Today was the final show. How do you feel about how it went? It was great. Um, the whole experience been great, but just the energy on, on the last night. Oh, yeah. It was just oh, next level anyway, mm -hmm. so yeah, it was just amazing. So if you haven't seen it, um, it's quite... It's quite a harrowing play at some times. It hits some real, real dark points, really light moments as well. Um, and to see it, it was completely impressive. They turned the Hope Street Theatre stage into a round. Now, I've not seen that done, no, but it worked no. perfectly. So if you haven't seen it, luckily, we've just been discussing, this might be going on tour, so it is not the last chance. So first, I'm going to ask you a few questions, Catherine. I'm going to start with your rehearsal process. Yeah. Now, how long have the rehearsals gone for, Fantasy? Because it looks so perfect. Surely it went on for a while. Um, not really, not, not that long, really. About four weeks in total, mm. something like that. Four or five weeks. Um, but they were just intense. The kind yeah. of show it is anyways is a very intense mm -hmm. uh, feel to it. So it was just getting your head into it straight away and just... Just submersing yourself in yeah. it. And you play a few characters, so getting to grips with a few of them, was that was that difficult? Because you obviously you didn't have to connect with one in such intense moments. Yeah, I mean it's it's this this particular project is mm -hmm. different to anything I've really done anyway because mm -hmm. it's it's she, pretty much what I do is with monologues and um, just talking to the mm -hmm. to the uh, audience. But and each character takes takes inhabits different yeah. characters that comes come through the story yeah. in different parts all over. But me and um, Reg, who plays Captain Kasperwitz, he <laughs> also yeah, unbelievable. Um, and Jim, um, he also uh, we had this character that we both seemed to talk about, and so we were we tried loads of different ways to try and play. Just mimic, not that we were exactly the same character, but just mimic. Both portrayed the same character, yeah. Yeah, so there was, it was a lot of fun coming up with, with Valet. Yeah, it was a lot of fun with Valet, but yeah, just, just having fun playing around with the, yeah. with the characters and, and seeing what we can do and how we can become them, the essence of them. Yeah, and how to of, merge it yeah. all. Well, it is absolutely fabulous, and you have absolutely oh, done it spot you. on. Now, I know everyone who comes to the theatre, we like to know, so obviously when you're watching TV, you love looking at the bloopers. So I'm going to ask this question that everyone wants to know. Do you know, during the rehearsal process, was there any awkward moments, any funny situations maybe you can't spill about? Um, not so much that we can't spill, it's just, uh, there was there's one moment in, in, the, in the play that's just a lo lovely, gorgeous moment mm -hmm. between Foster and Casper, but uh, mm -hmm. when we got to, the, to, to that particular scene in the room with Reg, it was just at that point we were so comfortable with each other yeah. and it was just... Jokes, jokes, innuendo, that was everything. You just couldn't keep a straight face. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was just. But well, you still well, well because yeah. you just kept a straight face on the night. Well, yeah, as long as we got through it on the night. I I'm think not sometimes when he's connected as actors, you're connected as friends. So oh, yeah. getting into the situation of obviously having to have a romantic mm -hmm. relationship, you're like, are we professional? With this? <laughs> yeah. Are we too close? This? But yeah. you're still well. So. The whole cast and the whole team, to be honest, we've worked on this. We, we've all we all gelled so well, so and I think it shows with with brilliant. With no, it definitely does. The chemistry on stage is impressive. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so yourself and um, the director, mm -hmm. um, Ellie, we'll be speaking to her a little bit later. Um, you and both, yeah, alumni. We are. Correct. Now, how did you find? Tash Patel, who is also oh. being collective. So, oh, okay. Ellie, Ellie and then Tash, the collective. Yeah. Who will run the project? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or we have alumni. Wow. Is, yeah. Okay. So, um, as you know each other from there, obviously. Mm -hmm. Now, is this why you got the board, or was it was it a hard audition process? Was I'll it quite intense? Um, yeah. Well, I'd, you hear it, it being in the it's so very in the scene at the minute mm -hmm. um, of everything that's going on. Yeah, so yeah, uh, yes. I, I heard of a tour during the summer with Off the Ground Theatre Company mm -hmm. over, over the water, and that was just amazing. It was a really good experience. Mm -hmm. Really worked well with Ellie. She's just she's got a really great way of. 
getting what, yeah, what, yeah. what you need out of the scene and, and your character. Um, and yeah, and then she she gave me she sent me a text and she was like, look, I'm auditioning for a show. Wow. Um, I think you might suit it. Uh, do you want to come in and read? So I came in, read a couple of scenes and stuff. And then a couple of days later, oh, she, wow. she was like, I think you'll suit the part. So we're going wow. to try it. And then so we got into the rehearsal room and met Red and June. Yeah. Yeah, just that so dress is history. Yeah, yeah so the, uh, the young every man who play helps, they do uh, classes, they have a little group and everything. Yeah, so we, there's so many different strands mm-hmm. to the young, young every man who play. So there's like producers, directors, young actors, and techies, yeah. it's everything. Um, and it's, it's, very, it's, it's an amazing place to learn and, and to, and to grow. Yeah, yeah to, uh, to like. Uh, be a, uh, and be around, be around all the talent in the city. It's quite a big thing. We, um, a lot of people talk about lately as well. That, you know, we're not getting used as much in Liverpool, and we need to yeah. we need to make the most out of the talent in the city. So that's a perfect place if anyone watching is looking for a class or looking to network. I think that is completely perfect. It is, yeah. There's a uh, drama club on Saturday mornings for for the young ones from Amazing. like uh, I think it's ten to thirteen. Okay. And then um, we have, we've got the, the a younger group of mm-hmm. yeah, so it's like fourteen to sixteen. And then through the week, and then there's the older groups. So we have wow. three older groups, which is 16 up to 22. Wow. And you divide, you do scripted. Uh, I was lucky enough to do a couple of plays on the yeah. uh, main stage. Uh, the first year of the uh, 2017 Rep Company. They, yeah. They, yeah. they, they used the, use the younger yeah. Yeah. Playoffs, uh, youth. Amazing. Squad. Amazing. Yeah. I do have to say as well, Hope Street Theatre, I've got some amazing classes on as well. Yeah. So anyone watching, I know I've had a few questions this week about where I trained, where some of my friends, people have been interviewing trained. These are the places that are all available for you guys. If anyone needs a message, I'll give, I've got the links to hand, I've got the website, Hope Street Theatre, Young Every Man and Playhouse. There's loads, loads and loads of little bits. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap up there. Yeah, so thank you so much for thank sitting you. down and talking to us and wish you all the best. And hopefully, guys, just catch it on talk. You do not want to miss this play. It's amazing. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Isabella, and I'm back with all things The Collector. I am here with Natasha Patel, the producer, and Ellie Hurt, the director. Now, guys, firstly, congratulations. The show has been unbelievable. Thank you. Um, I've been speaking to some of the actors, spoke to Catherine, and she's yeah. explained a bit about the rehearsal process, so I will be asking you a bit about that. But firstly, I'm just going to ask, why Why did you choose this play? It's quite an interesting choice for a young director as well, and the producer, yeah. you know, it is quite an interesting choice. Yeah, it's quite dark as yeah, well. Yeah, it is, it is. It's really dark. <laughs> it's really dark. Quite light in some areas, I must say. Yeah. But it's quite dark, yeah. Um, well, we knew we wanted to do something together, because mm-hmm. we kind of recently joined forces as a company. Okay, yeah. Um, so we both kind of finished training programmes at the Young Everman Playhouse. Yeah. Um, I was on the directing scheme and Tasha was on the producing scheme. Amazing. Uh, so she's got one half of the brain, I've got the other half yeah. of the brain. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought we'd make a great team. Perfect. Um, so we always kind of had a bit of criteria and ambitions and stuff. Like we wanted like majority female cast yeah, nice. and all stuff like that. So the writer, who is he? Yes, yeah, it's Henry Naylor. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is actually part of a trilogy called Arabian Nightmares. Um, and we just really love his writing because he writes women characters so great, um, like really three-dimensional female yeah. characters, which I think is really unusual yeah, uh, for a male playwright. Yeah. Um, and it won a Fringe First Award, I think, yeah. in Edinburgh, yeah. And it's been wow. on tour in 2016, so it's definitely a play that people keep coming back to, I think. Yeah, so it's a perfect opportunity. Yeah, yeah exactly. Completely perfect. And for two women to um, like direct and produce a man's yeah. writing, and it's quite interesting, and it yeah. works, it definitely works. <laughs> yeah. I think it's yeah. hard to find. And also it's really unique. He tells the the story of the war through different people's yeah. eyes yeah. and you get someone who's from Iraq and her version of, of how it went, but also mm. the soldiers and their version of how it all yeah. went and their like mm. reactions to it as well. And I think that's really unique from yeah. a war play. You don't yeah. really get both of those no, sides. It's, it's yeah. always either one side or the yeah. other. And mainly it is through the mail. So yeah. guys, finally we've got some female <laughs> empowerment yeah. going on. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so then I just want to plug a little bit. So the badges we can all see here. Um, do you want to mm-hmm. tell everyone a bit about the charity? Which yeah. I think is absolutely amazing, yeah. by the way, that you've brought that oh. in with the play. And yeah. um, you've been raising a bit of money and it's been going around the audience and the audience have reacted really well. No, so really, so really, really, really well. Yeah. I've noticed a lot about it. So if you want to yeah. tell Yeah, well, we always, we said... 
we, it, every time we want to make theatre, we want to help an organisation. Yeah, so that from the start was kind of like what we're going to do. So yeah. with every show, we're always going to choose a charity that works alongside that. Um, so we came across Women for Women International who help um, female survivors of war like, rebuild mm -hmm. their lives. Um, so if we raise two hundred eighty-five, two hundred eighty-five pounds, yeah. um, then we sponsor a woman survivor of war. Wow. Um, a year long program. Yeah, a training wow. program to learn new skills and to build their life back up, basically. So that's how. I go. So wow. we're like, if we're putting on a show and we're getting those people together in a room, why not, why not? get some money together Ladies, as well? Honestly, yeah. well yeah. done. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. So I'll come on to Hope Street Theatre. Why did you choose this area? Um, it's a it's a new venue mm -hmm. and it's. It's finally um, a venue that emerging artists can put work on in front of a live yeah. audience, and it, it's given like it's kind of like bridged that gap yeah. that was that was missing um, in this city. So Amazing. as soon as it opened, we were like, we need to get something in yeah. this venue. And they have it's a really supportive scheme, and they have like a yeah. mentorship, and they help yeah. you with marketing and everything. So it's just a really lovely sk like scheme yeah. for people who are trying to. Uh, and it's really flexible space as well. Yeah. 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 Cause yeah. I've noticed she's came in at different times and stuff. Yeah. Now I did mention Catherine. I don't know why. I don't know why, guys, that I'm obsessed with this. But the round, creating the round. <laughs> I, know, yeah. I, I walked in the first time, seeing it. I was like, Is I'm in the right place. Yeah. <laughs> Is this but she did it. Doesn't even transform. Yeah. Yeah. It looks, yeah. transforms it yeah. completely. And why do you think to do that? It's brilliant. It's brilliant. I lots of little reasons like why it's a really intimate show. Yeah. There's only three people in there. Mm -hmm. They talk to the audience the whole time. Yeah. So we kind of wanted the audience to be visible. Yeah. And we like it's harder to do that with end on, you've got people sat right at the back. Yeah. So we wanted everyone to feel really immersed in it. Yeah. Like they were actually talking to you. Uh, making eye contact yeah. with them, yeah. and also it feels it does feel a little bit like a prison cell. Yeah, it does. <laughs> um, and what I noticed as well the other day, I got I was lucky enough to sit in. I noticed a lot of the audience ends up looking at each other from across the room. Yeah, I love that. And I always watch different people. Yeah, it creates this yeah. really um, tight. Yeah. Type feeling like I felt mm. I was really in the room with everyone. I was looking at other people, yeah. and um, I welcomed everyone in originally. And one of them had never been to the theatre before. Oh, I was honest to God, honest to God, he did not take his eyes off the stage. Yeah. Oh, wow. So this is one of the most important things I always talk about in my talk shows: mm. is um, you know building people up. Yeah. You know, start coming to theatre. Yeah. Why Why do people choose theatre over film and film over theatre? Yeah. yeah. So. We'll talk a little bit more about mm -hmm. that in our next little club. Mm -hmm. But um, ladies, firstly, congratulations. Mm -hmm. It's gone absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. And we've just been speaking. Hopefully, this will be going on tour. So for those of you that did miss it, and I know obviously after this interview, you're going to be dying to see it. Yeah. Um, do not worry, because hopefully it'll be going on tour. And if anyone else sees this, I'm sure, I'm sure you'll be getting plenty of offers. <laughs> but yeah, congratulations. Thank you so this much. Absolutely Thank brilliant. Everyone, Thank catch you. the collective. <laughs> Yeah, that's awkward. <laughs> 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 <laughs>